Welcome to another Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege video. This time I'm going to be showing you five of the most broken spots in Siege. Some of these are just straight up glitches that shouldn't be in the game. So use them while you can. Hopefully they don't get removed before you get to try them out. And some are just strategies that I think people don't know about or aren't utilizing properly that give you such an advantage that they should be used pretty much every round. Let's get into the video. So this first glitch spot is on Villa, and it's going to actually be at the bottom part of the red stairs. If you place a frost mat on this, like, red carpet, it actually sinks into the floor and becomes pretty much nearly invisible. And you can do this for any part of the red carpet on the lower stairs. As you can see, you can put three, and though this isn't, like, a super popular area for attackers to push, sometimes they will come in through this lower drum especially when you go the vault site and they'll try and come up red you know in order to take control of 90 or sometimes they'll come through this window and these can also be a good spot for that because as you can see you know this isn't normally what you're looking for for a frost mat this just looks like debris that's on the floor and they are actually still you know still functional if an attacker hops through this window they still will hit them and you still can pick them up and they just pop right back out of the floor so you can see the difference between a normal frost mat how large it is and one of these just looks like you know pretty much nothing on the floor now unfortunately it doesn't work on any of the other red carpet you can see it sinks in a little bit but not nearly as much as it does on the lower part i guess the lower part of the carpet is just like thicker or it's like slightly raised above the floor but it does make it pretty much invisible and with the new frost rework you will have to kind of play around these because now people can pick themselves up but you can at least lower attackers to, you know the 20 hp or whatever it is just with free hits because if they come on this carpet they're pretty likely to hit these not thinking anything of them not even realizing that they're frost mats this next strat is with a zombie and you can do it on pretty much any map in the game that you want to now unfortunately it has been nerfed a little bit you used to be able to throw a kiva barrier and then as it's going off walk into it and it would make this v-shaped kiva barrier but as you can see now it like pushes you back so you can't get within the barriers area of explosion or expansion but there are still a few ways that you can create some pretty cool pixel angles just using the Kiba barriers. One way I like to do is just throw one wherever, you know, like against a wall that I'm wanting to hold. Like say I wanted to hold the kids room window. And then the second one, all you do is throw it somewhere above. And usually at some point, I think this one a little close, but at some point the Kiba barriers will line up, like say right here. And you can just use this angle to hold you know whatever you need to now i'm going to show you a slightly better example of this where i don't mess up the kiva barrier so you can see just how op these angles can be you toss it right here you blow up in that now you have made like a one-way angle pretty much and by throwing this one overhead it yes it does cover some of your head but also it stops the chance of people just like spraying above the barrier trying to hit you now they see that like you're more than partially covered on the head and it makes it way more intimidating for them to challenge that angle as you can see this that is my head right there that is the only thing that the attackers can see trying to fight this angle and i can see their entire body so it makes it really advantageous for a zombie or any defender that can just you know hop on this kiva barrier take a fight is a super op thing that is for some reason still in the game so take advantage of it while you can this next broken spot you can use on any map that has any hatches that go up outside of the map but this one in strip on clubhouse works amazingly well as you see you can jump and see all of these west side of the map on this balcony you can see if anyone's sitting outside of the cc room outside of construction if they're pushing bedroom if they're on the lodgy hatch if they're on jacuzzi you can hear it from this drone sometimes you can see it when the smoke's not doing its thing you can see if they're pushing the garage wall 
and you can see where they're not. If there's no one on this side of the map, you know they're either pushing from dirt way over there, or they're pushing the main wall over there. And this drone is just like super OP. And also no one thinks about this hatch as existing. So as long as you don't red ping, the drone is pretty much completely silent. And they'll never even know that they're being watched from the echo drone. You can red ping if you're like playing with randoms or something. You can get a red ping off. But generally you don't want to. You can just you know yellow ping them forever. And they'll never know that they're being tracked. And you can have someone you know playing in garage shooting them from there or... You know, shoot them through a closed window because you have an exact yellow ping where someone is sitting. There's just so many possibilities with this drone. But this isn't even the only map where it works. It also works on a map like Cafe where there are hatches as well as this skylight that you can use the echo drones for. So say for instance they're pushing new hatch. You can use your echo drone to hop up and see where they are if they're pushing the balcony you can use this drone hop up new hatch or the red stairs hatch anything you want now obviously they're probably gonna notice these drones so it, you can't do this the whole round like you can on coastline or on a clubhouse but you still can use this you know in a pinch you can maybe have a drone sitting right here they break this hatch you hear them doing some some fighting over here move over and just check see where they are maybe ping someone for a C4 to come out if someone's sitting on their drone or if they're just holding this angle you can let your team know. But really any map where these open areas on the roof exist you can use echo drones to hop through there and get free intel on the attacking team. Now this next spot is actually broken so use it while you can and hope they don't remove it anytime soon. Now this may just look like a normal coast guard room you just put a barricade up going into radio but actually this barricade at least right now is glitched and if you come and lean you can actually see through this little gap all the way into coast guard as you can see that is the printer right there on my ping so you're seeing not only through coast guard room but you're actually seeing into the printer room that leads to this room so you can watch attackers walk in and then as they walk in you know just spray them through this barricade and they'll never even know that you had seen them and just so you know what we're looking at just in case you can't see it on the video it's pretty clear when you're looking at it in the game you see right here and you can pretty easily see when people cross the only thing you have to do for setup with this is you do have to put the barricade down facing radio room because that's what creates the gap if you put the barricade up facing this way it doesn't work as you can see we go back there is our little gap we would just watch someone walk in and just instantly delete them you'll probably only get one kill from this but it is a free kill and it's usually going to be like the fuse or habana or whatever hard breacher comes in to get the hatch that is in coast guard and you can just delete them and our final broken strat is going to be with our boy maverick and this is something i just don't think a lot of people know about is that you can silent break barricades with maverick's blowtorch so as we all know or as you you know at least should know if you punch a barricade as so you punch at the x and then second from bottom you can just walk through without breaking the entire barricade and making that loud destruction noise but if you want to do it even quieter, you can do the same thing with Maverick's Blowtorch. And we are in. The Blowtorch makes very, very minimal noise. Especially when it's the only barricade broken. It'll actually be louder <laughs> the way I just set it up if you break one and then another. But you get it. You just start at this bottom section. And then you do that section. And as you can see, those two quick bursts are very 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 quiet and yes it does work on double doors as well so just a quick little burst another burst and we're in okay we're not we're, there we go now we're in you gotta look down sometimes or you get your head stuck on it but as you can see that is a very very quick and silent way to get in the building so just to show you again in case i didn't make it clear exactly where you hit it is you see how these barricades have like 
slats in them. It is the second slat up from the bottom. You, and with the Maverick Torch, you can hit it pretty much anywhere as long as it's on the side you want to go through. And then the slat right here on this X. So not the lowest one or not the one where the paint like dribbles on it, but that one. You just hit it and now we are in. And just to show you how fast and quietly you can get into a building. Okay, we need to get into bank. Okay, I messed it up there. But even still, having to use three, that is extremely fast. Like, it is so quick to use this torch to get into a building. Bang, bang, and we're in. And we didn't break, we didn't make any noise. We didn't break any barricades. They just kind of, like, disintegrate when you hit them with the Maverick Torch. It's not like when you punch them and they, you know, like, actually fall to the ground. They just cease to exist. I don't know what happens. They burn away. You can also do this with windows, but there's uh, really no point. Because, <laughs> yes, it does work, but as soon as you hop in, it's gonna, you know, make the, the crashing noise anyway. You know, there's no point in doing it at that point. But yeah, those are five of the best glitch or, you know, cheesy strats that I know about in Rainbow Six Siege. What are your favorites? Let me know down in the comments. Do you like these strats? Are you gonna use them? All that stuff. I hope you find them effective in your next ranked game. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see ya next time.